Welcome to Nifty Notions from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today's Nifty Notion is a fusing mat. A fusing mat is a surface that you're able to iron over top of. You're going to be able to use fusible webs and glues on this surface. And the glues and fusibles do not stick. And having fusibles not stick makes fusing mats a lot of fun to use. The mats I'm going to share with you today are from Precision Quilting Tools. And the mats come in two different sizes, 12 by 18 and a 17 by 24. When we open up the box, we're going to notice that we have the fusing mat covered with a protective piece of plastic that we can take off and discard and a free Teflon pressing sheet. So we have the fusing mat plus a matching Teflon sheet. And between the two of these, we really can fuse almost anything together. The fusing mat is quite thick, so it has some good weight to it. And when it goes on the surface, it does not move. It is very, very secure. Even the fabrics that you put on are very secure. They don't want to move. Matter of fact, having a pair of tweezers will help because that fabric really sticks quite well. And the Teflon sheet is also quite thick. I'm going to pull out the mat I've been using for a while so I can show you how it's turned out for me. So the mat I've been using is the large 17 by 24 inches. So that Teflon sheet is the same size. Both pieces are very easy to take care of because nothing really sticks on them. And if it does, it just comes right off. For example, I have a little bit of fusible web stuck onto this Teflon sheet. And I'm going to show you how easy it is for that glue to come off. I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but there's a little bit of a fusible web stuck on and it honestly just comes off as easy as rubbing it with your fingers. So whatever stuck to that mat comes right off. As for this fusing mat, I haven't had anything stick on it yet. However, because this mat really holds fabric tightly, it also holds little lint. You can just rinse it with warm water and let it dry. You can even put them in the dishwasher if you'd like. But I find just for my everyday, my lint roller works quite well. I'd like to share with you a couple of things that I've been using the mat for. The first thing is it was designed for applique. Now this is a pattern that I thought I was going to applique all these little blocks, but I've come to realize it is going to take me far too long. I'll never get the project done on time. So I'm going to fuse the applique shapes down. To do that, we take our fusible webs and with the paper side up, we trace the shapes that we need. From there, we cut those shapes out so that we have lots around the outside. We fuse it onto the back of the fabric and then we can trim off what we need and we have that shape. The fusing mat works great for this application. And because I was going to hand applique with a turned edge, I already have all of my pieces cut out. So I have that fusible bigger than my fabric. So if I was using an ironing board, I couldn't press that down because that fusible would stick on the board. I couldn't fuse it this way because then the fusible is going to stick on the iron. The fusing mat is going to make it easy. I lay my piece down so that the good side is facing down and it really does stick. Now that fusible part is going to go on the back. So I have my iron set to the proper temperature for my fusible and I'm just going to fuse it on. And you can see already that this fusible does not want to stay stuck onto that surface, which is perfect. Now I can cut out the shape that I want. And I'm gonna need eight of these shapes to make one of those flowers. Because that fusible website is not sticking on this mat, I don't have to be so careful on cutting out my shapes. Normally our fabric is bigger than the fusible, and in this case, my fabric is bigger, but not big enough to cover the entire area. I'm just making sure that there's enough fabric to trim. And I will need a circle for the center of that flower. Remove the paper off the back of the shapes. 
I'm going to take that pattern placement sheet and I'm going to put it underneath my mat. The mat you can see through. Being able to see through this mat means I'm going to be able to place the fabrics exactly the way I want them. So these petals are going to go around this flower and I can move them until I get the shape and the arrangement that I like. Now that I have the shape that I want, I'm going to be able to fuse these all together and it's going to make one large unit. The fusing mat is not designed to go over top of a cutting mat, so be sure to put it on top of a surface that you can iron on, such as your ironing board. Now just take time and fuse that right on top of that surface, following the directions for that fusible web. And then be sure to let this cool down. As with any fusible, it needs to cool before you move it. That way the glue has a chance to set onto the other fabrics. Once it's cooled down, I can take this off and it's now one solid piece of fabric. I have no glue on the surface. The glue has remained right here. The pattern has a little circle in the center of the flower. And press. I'm not sure if you can see through this, but I can see through it. Now I can press that down. Within a couple of minutes, I have that entire flower done. It's sure going to be a lot quicker than that hand applique. The fusing mat has also been used for my hot glue gun surface. I work right on top of this surface. As this glue gun is sitting here waiting for us, a lot of times it will drip some of this hot glue. And that glue, even when it dries, comes right up. And because this hot glue does not stick on the surface, we can do another thing with a hot glue gun. We can make window Klingons. Just make a surface with your hot glue. And you can put anything in that, sparkles or some googly eyeballs. Then let that glue cool and dry all the way. You could put a pitcher underneath and use the glue and follow a picture design. Once it's dry, you can peel that piece off. The smooth side will now stick on glass. So you now have some window Klingons. And adding some sparkles or something inside would sure be a lot of fun to do. And even just leaving that glue clear is a lot of fun. And when I'm done, I can just roll it up and put it aside. So this helps keep my iron clean, my ironing surface clean, and nothing really sticks on it, which makes me want to fuse things even more. Thank you for joining me today on Nifty Notions. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.